Hello my lovely friends, my name is Ava and today we're going to be talking about romances with caretaking. This is my fifth recommendation video with caretaking romances so I'll leave all my other videos linked down below. I absolutely love romance books that have caretaking in them, like where one person of the couple takes care of the other when they're sick or injured or whatever the case may be. Like. I love them. I'm a sucker for them. I think it's also a part of me um, being a chronically ill person. I really value um, caretaking in my future person, <laughs> whoever they may be. Like, I really value that. Like, it shows that you care when um, you're not feeling your best and someone's there to take care of you. It shows how much they care. So I love so many of these books. So let's get into these recommendations. The first one that I have is Rush by Emma Scott. It's one of my favorite books of last year. I adore this book. Our heroine in here lives in New York City. She's a graduate from Juilliard, but she's kind of struggling to make ends meet, to make rent. Um, she's not really making all that much money. But then she gets this opportunity to work for this very wealthy family to be the caregiver of their son. Um, she's expecting like this cranky older guy but he's actually like around her age and very attractive he was actually a extreme sport reporter like he would do extreme sports and write articles about them but during i think it was a cliff jump his latest escapade he got injured and he is now blind because of it and ever since his injury ever since he now has this disability now he thinks his life is completely over he just wants to like waste away like that's essentially what he says to her like leave me be leave me to my suffering like I don't need you to take care of me I don't need anyone to take care of me leave me alone in the dark in my room and so the heroine comes in to help take care of him and kind of open the world back up to him again and show him that just because you're disabled does not mean the world is over. Like there are so many things, there are so many things that you can do and you can still do the things you love despite the fact that you can't see. There are multiple caretaking scenes in here. Um, I don't wanna, some of these I won't tell you the specific scene, some of them I will because it's absolutely iconic, but just know that there are multiple scenes of caretaking in here. I absolutely love it. The heroine of the story really opens up the hero's world to things he can do now and like, him finding his happiness again like she helps him find the beauty in life again next i have teach me by olivia dade this is an older couple romance so normally you read romance books with characters in their 20s right like that's pretty normal these two characters are in their mid to late 40s i want to say and they are both high school teachers the heroine of the story isn't really too keen on the hero when he gets a job at her high school because he actually ends up taking a few of her history classes that she absolutely loves teaching he doesn't know this though and so he's really confused when this woman is like kind of being passive aggressive towards him so their relationship doesn't really get off on the right foot um but they end up slowly developing this friendship that turns into something more i absolutely loved this one if you want to read about two characters who know how to communicate with one another like look no further this book should be textbook on how you communicate with somebody when there's a conflict in a relationship i'm sick of all this miscommunication in romance books i'm absolutely sick of it like we are adults sit down and talk like an adult and so Olivia Dade handles it really 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 well in this book. Um, for caretaking in this book the hero has chronic back pain and it has flaring moments and the heroine hears about this and goes over to help take care of him. The switch is kind of flipped <laughs> after she helps take care of him. He like literally cannot get out of bed and like I just I love how she was there to run to his side to help take care of him in his time of need. Like I I adored it. Next is Flawless by Miss Elsie Silver. This is a small town rodeo cowboy romance. The hero in here is a professional bull rider and the heroine Summer has been tasked by her father who is his, I think manager, to be his babysitter because he hasn't been in the best light in the media recently. And so she's kind of there to watch over him to make sure he doesn't like stick his foot in his mouth and say things he shouldn't do things he shouldn't hook up with girls he shouldn't like just should not be in the public eye for a while um because he's kind of in a bad bad aspect right now with the media anyway so she is going to stay with him on his family ranch and there they end up falling for each other the caretaking scene in here just happens to be when one of the characters gives the other a massage and like it was so stinking, so good, so good. <laughs> if you have not picked up this series yet, like what are you doing with your life? Please do, please do. I still have to read the last two books in the series. 
Um, but man, great, great start to a great series. Next is a mafia romance. This is Ruined Secrets by Neva Altaj. This is book number four in the series. You can technically read these books as standalones and like be completely fine. By the way, some people have asked me that because I talk about this series a lot and these characters rarely overlap with one another. So take with that what you will. The heroine of this story, Isabella, her grandfather is a mafia boss, okay? Um, and his like right-hand man, is like 15 years older than her, 16 years older than her. He ends up saving her when she's a child and she almost drowns in a pool. And ever since that point, like she thinks like he is like Prince Charming, like everything, okay? She's now I think around the age of 18 and her grandfather basically makes them get married. She's ecstatic. She's like secretly been wanting this her whole life. But the hero like feels kind of disgusted with himself because he does find her attractive, but she's like barely legal. Like she could be his child and in, in like the age range. And he's like, this is so wrong, feels horrible about it. And then something happens, it's in the summary, but basically he gets in an accident and gets amnesia and completely forgets about the fact that like his wife, why he shouldn't love his wife. Like what are the reasons why he should keep his distance from his wife? And there are caretaking scenes when Isabella is taking care of the hero um, while he's in the hospital, when he comes home from the hospital, taking care of him like while he's at home when he's not feeling well after everything that happened to him um but he also has amnesia at the same time so a great mafia romance read a contemporary romance that i have is make it sweet by kristen callahan the heroine of this story is a very famous actress she's on a show that is essentially like game of thrones but her character gets killed off and she doesn't really know what to do with the rest of her life she's like i don't know what to do next um so she decides like you know what while i think about it let's just go on vacation for a little bit. She ends up renting out a little house on this estate that has a bunch of other little houses. It is run by this woman and her grandson helps her out. And this is a romance with her and the grandson, the grandma tries to meddle in their love lives too. She can see that like, ooh, they'd be good together. So I love a meddlesome grandmother. Like, give it to me now. I love that. The hero in here is an ex-hockey player. He had a few too many concussions while playing and he now has chronic migraines because of it. And it's not really safe for him to play anymore. He loves the sport, wants to go back so badly, but his grandmother is terrified that he's going to die if he keeps playing. And so he's kind of picked up a new hobby in baking and he's a fantastic baker. And I don't wanna spoil anything else. There are fantastic caretaking scenes in here. I think there's caretaking scenes when like the hero takes care of the heroine and then the heroine takes care of the hero also with him and his chronic migraines. So another like fantastic book. I love this one so much. It's very underhyped. Like not a lot of people have read this one yet, please do. If you're wanting a fantasy romance, I have The Bridge Kingdom by Danielle L. Jensen. This is the first book in her Bridge Kingdom series. Um, if you have Audible, you can actually listen to this book through your membership for free if you already have a subscription service. And it's kind of a series that has like two books about the same couple. So you have the main couple in this one, their story wraps up in book two, and then book three is about another couple and so on and so forth. You know what I mean? Um, so Laura in here, Ever since she was a child, her and her sisters have been trained to marry and then kill, kind of like be a spy for a neighboring kingdom. She ends up getting chosen to marry that neighboring kingdom's king and to get as much inter information as possible about him and kind of take his kingdom down. But then once she gets to know him, this secret king, and his people and his land and everything. And like, she can't help but think about whether or not what she's been tasked to do her whole life is the right thing to do. So definitely there's like an inner battle in her mind. Great, great start to a series. I really loved this one and the second one about them. There are a few caretaking scenes in here. Um, both of the characters get injured at some point and the other one takes care of them, bandages them up, you know what I mean? So. Fun, fun fantasy romance read. Ooh, one of my favorite ones is A Soul to Keep by Opal Rain. If you want a slow burn monster romance, like look no further. I absolutely love Orpheus. Like, oh, give me Orpheus all day long. Okay, so heroine in here, her name is, I think her name's Reina, if I'm not mistaken, or Rhea, Rhea, it's Rhea, Rhea, sorry. Um, She lives in this village of people um, that don't like her. They think she's cursed and they're going to give her up as an offering to Orpheus in exchange for protection on their village um, from demons, okay? And so Orpheus is like coming to come pick her up, brings her back to his little cabin and tries to keep her safe. All that Orpheus has wanted his whole life is a companion who wants him and wants to be with him. He is a very lonely being and he just wants someone to be there for him and love him and cherish him like he would somebody else. And like, ugh. 
I love this one so much. Like Rhea, you get to slowly see her start to fall for this monster creature. She at first is very scared of him, but realizes like he's a complete and utter softy on the inside. There are multiple caretaking scenes in here because Rhea gets injured or almost killed quite a few times and Orpheus is there to take care of her. There are a few bathtub scenes, if you know what I mean. <laughs> so like those are really fun. Um, so yeah, I love this one. Monster Romance that is definitely iconic to me. Worst Guy by Ruby Dixon. I have to recommend a Ruby Dixon one, obviously. Um, this is the second book in her like Gladiator clone series. This is actually the Renegade Romance exclusive edition that is absolutely like stunning. I haven't had the opportunity to show it off a little bit, like as much as I wanted to, but like it is stunning. Like he is a clone of this very dangerous like gladiator. He's been put on this planet called Rizda 3, but behind bars because they don't know how he's going to react. Is he gonna be as brutal and has as dangerous as the person he's cloned from? And our heroine in here, I think her name's Mina, is that right? No, her name's B. Mina's the heroine from book one. Anyway, okay, so B in here, the heroine on the back, you can see like she's like looking through glass, right? Because she's like looking at him through the bars and everything. She's been tasked to basically get to know him, befriend him, help him see reason and kind of try to help him integrate into society on the planet. You can kind of see it on the cover, but he has these spikes on him. Um, and he, at one point during a struggle, or something. I don't really remember. He injures himself with his spikes and B goes inside the cell with him to clean him, um, to clean his wounds and stuff. And that's a very big turning point in their relationship. And I was like swooning. Dark Fire by Ruby Dixon, another Ruby Dixon book. <laughs> um, this is actually the last book in her Fireblood Dragon series, which is her Dragon Shifter romance series. And this one is actually about a villain. So the villain in the series, Azar and his romance, I think her name is Melina with Melina, who is kind of like the healer of the the series um so basically the fireblood dragon series is about alien dragon shifters like coming to earth and kind of like decimating it <laughs> and azar just so happens to be like the villain of the whole entire series and this is his romance and you're like what the heck why is he getting his romance he has a little bit of a redemption okay i don't love his him as much as the other heroes in this books okay but he does get a redemption story somewhat so azar doesn't really like anybody he doesn't like anybody and he's very upset that he's starting to care for this human woman there's one point in the book where mina gets seriously sick and azar like like is like clutching her to his chest for days and days and days and won't let anybody touch her will like literally kill anybody who touches her so he's as, like taking care of her caring for her for like multiple days um, so that's like the main caretaking scene that sticks out in my brain with this one. Um, but I do recommend reading the other books in the series before you get to this one because like, I don't think you'll understand Azar's whole story if you don't. And the last one that I have to recommend is actually a historical romance. This is Devil in Disguise by Lisa Kleypas. Lady Merritt is our heroine in here. She's a widow and she's been running her deceased husband's, uh, I think shipping company. Then she meets Kier, who is a ruggedly handsome Scotsman. And it's kind of like, love at first sight between the two of them and it's really sweet and it's fun like that's all I really want to say about this one because it could be a spoiler but like Lisa Kleypas knows how to write a great romance and she has fantastic character taking scenes in so many of her books so there's a good one in here for sure anyways there you have it those are some romance books with beautiful fantastic swoon worthy care taking scenes let me know down below if you've read any of these books or if you plan to and if you don't feel like commenting any of those things you can leave me a computer emoji <laughs> in the comment section down below. But anyways, thank you all so, so much for watching. I will see you all soon in my next one. Bye y'all.